Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe here at Fino Boxing, like this video, and leave your comments down below. And follow us at all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing, and my personal one is at Adriana underscore sports. Every time they go up against me, we lose. Tell us the fight. And it's been going on for like 15 years now. I think it's going to change now. I am like going four or over five against Boca. This is true. Y'all think it's gonna change now? It all changes on April 17th, baby. Y'all think it's gonna change now? It's changing right, it's changing. The times are changing. Well, we're gonna get out of the way. This is, this is, this is, uh, this is gonna be an interesting conversation. Uh, we're here, we obviously, we announced earlier today just a wonderful fight on the Stone platform, April 17th, MGM National Harbor, Regis Prograde against Maurice Hooker. For me, this seems like an obvious fight, but actually, it was a fight that I never expected to happen. Regis Progre coming off fight the year contender for the unified WBA IBF Super Lightweight Championship. Of course, Maurice Hooker with the win recently, but also in a brilliant fight with Jose Ramirez, which is another unification fight. This is everything that's right about boxing. This is everything that says two guys that want to get back to the top, two guys that now become in the most relevant fight in the division. Two guys that say, you know what? I'll win this fight, I'll take it. Two teams that say, we win this fight, we take it. And it's so refreshing, so refreshing to make a fight like this that actually the fans say, that's great. A loss does not define your career. And I think here we have an opportunity for two guys to get straight back to the top. And it's funny that, you know, after suffering defeats in unification bouts, let's remember that, this fight becomes the hottest fight in the division. We know that the winner of this fight also has one eye on the fight tomorrow night, Saturday night, Michael Garcia. It's the fight these guys want. Devin Haney will be in town tomorrow. He's going to be moving to 140 very soon. There's massive, massive fights out there for both guys. I'm going to start with Regis Progreg. Regis, welcome. You didn't want any Josh Taylor fight. You wanted straight back in. Yeah, I mean, I want to go straight back in. And for me, that's what boxing is about. You know, it's, best, it's about the best fighting the best. Um, a lot of people, they look at a loss and they kind of write you off and stuff like that. All oh, they want to get tuna fights and stuff. For me, I don't want it. I don't want no tuna fights. I want all, like, the hardest fights possible. The biggest fights, the hardest fights possible. When Reese Hooker is a former world champion, I'm a former world champion. So, like, for my last, like, two years or something like that, I've been fighting world champion, former world champion, all undefeated fighters, and it's like, it's no different right now. I want the same thing, I want, and that's why, you know, um, the idea came, I went to the press conference for, you know, Mikey and Jesse Barbies when the first announcement, and I told Eddie, you know, like, I want to win. He said, what about Maurice Hooker? I was like, shit, let's do it. And that's why it's made right now. Obviously, you suffered that defeat in London. It was an absolute pleasure to promote that fight, one of the best fights I've seen live. How determined are you to come back from that defeat? How much did that defeat hurt? fight that was very, very close, could have gone either way, probably in your hometown or your country, you would have got that victory, but how much has that ignited the fire inside you to get back to the top and win world championship clubs? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's everything for me right now. For me, like, this is a make or break type of fight, you know, like, after that, you know, I felt like I was the best in the world, I why I still feel like that, but now, I, this is like a fight that's really gonna prove it, you know, that's why, that's why I say I don't want no tuna fights, I don't want no easy fights and stuff like that, because if I go fight an easy fight that I'm supposed to win, of course, people are going, you know, if I'm supposed to beat somebody, then they're gonna be like, oh yeah, he's supposed to do that, but this is a fight that, you know, like, if, if people say it's a pick a fight, you know, and I, you know, I win this and win in dominant fashion, then I'll be right back at the top, so that's what I want to be, you know, at the top. One thing that me is the confidence of both teams. Obviously, they always back their man, but it's you overheard Bomac talking in the media roundtable earlier. This is a one-sided fight. Lou DeBella's told me multiple times, and so is Sam, that 100% you knock Maurice Hooker out on April the 17th. What kind of fight do you see this as? I mean, you don't see it as one-sided? Do, do you believe that this is a beatdown by, by Regis Progray, or do you expect a, a war in Maryland on April 17th? Uh, I don't know, man. Um, you know, I, I definitely think I'm gonna win. I never think I'm gonna lose a fight, of course. You know, um, but I don't think I don't see how they think it's a one side. But of course, I know Bull Mac like to talk shit. That's how he is. That's what he do. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how it's supposed to be. You know, usually I talk shit, but I'm a little tired right now, so I don't even feel like going in there with him right now. But you know, eventually I get back up. But I think it's gonna be a great fight, and you know, I just can't wait. Do you believe you win this fight, Manuka? Okay? Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't see how he can. If he got stopped by um, Jose Ramirez, 
I, I hit red when it goes in the ring, and he knows that. People know that. You know, I'm probably the hardest puncher in the division right now. So, um, you know, we'll see. But if not, then you know, if I go to the decision and beat him on points, that's cool. So it don't matter. Maurice Hooker, see you smiling. Get teeth into. I know you and the team really excited about this fight. Yeah, man, it's a it's a good fight. Uh, like I, like he said, he's a former world champion, former former world champion. Uh, he won the base of one forty right now. He being on him a title. Uh, you know, I would go out there and show the world I'm, I'm the best in one forty. You know, that fight with Jose Reyes, you know, he gave me a good shot. I lost, but I just want to focus and uh, I'm, I just want to fight. But this time right here, this fight right here. You gonna see, you gonna see a different Morris Hooker. I want to try to show my last fight, but he ended in the first round. But I want to show them the new Morris Hooker style that uh, my team, my new team, we've been working on. You know, but it's a good fight. You know? People don't want to miss this fight. I'm coming. I know he's coming. But I'm gonna win. Two aggressive guys, two punches, of course. They fancy they win this fight by knockout. I know you're. Your new man to the left thinks this is an easy night's work for Maurice right. Hooker. Are you expecting that, or do you expect a knockout on April 17, or are you expecting a, a tough, tough, long battle? I don't want to say a tough, tough, long battle. I'm going to go in and do my thing. You know, this is the game plan of my coach. We're going to take round by round. And uh, I will come out on top. You know, if the knockout down, we'll go for it. If it's not, I'm going to cruise to the victory. You've seen the response from this fight. We know multiple networks are trying to land this fight, land on the zone, of course. Do you feel that although no fault of their own, you know, with Jose Ramirez and Josh Taylor, all of a sudden this fight becomes really the fight for the 140 pound division? To me, I, I, I feel like this fight way bigger than Jose and uh, Josh Taylor fight, and whatever they fight. I mean, we, we, we both like the very side fighter. We both come to fight. We, I mean, we both gonna meet each other in the middle of the ring and do what we have to do to come out there big. And uh, Josh Taylor you know, and uh, Jose, they got mandatories after mandatories. And, and, a lot of fights like you see, people don't want to see. You know, they want to see fights like this. The fights get made. The fights with two two top guys fight each other. Appreciate that, man. Reese, you, you wanted to land Reese a big fight. You've done it, and you believe he wins this fight in style on April 17th. Well, first of all, since I promoted him right from the beginning, uh, it was never like he never was fake, like picky about who he fought. It was always like, tell me who will fight and how much. And then with Churchill, I mean Sam and, and and Pete Regis, they've never like, they went into the World Boxing Super Series because it forced the hand of the guys that had the belts and it gave them the opportunity to fight a bunch of big fights. That's why he wanted to go in there. And as soon as the tournament ended, he, I mean, he was hungry, he was back in the gym within like days, it was crazy. And the people around him were like baiting the biggest fight you could make. And I gotta say, like, credit to this guy and Bomek and the people now working with him. I called Dino, and within four hours, about, he came back and said, Maurice likes to fight, Bomac likes to fight, let's get this done. And, uh, and we were able to get it done, thank you. Uh, thank the zone. And um, this is what it's all about. And you know what, forget about like, a belt not being at the line. This, these are the two best guys at 140 available to fight one another. Jose Ramirez got the mandatory, he's gonna be a big favorite. Uh, Josh Taylor announced his fight today. I don't see how the other guy has any chance at all. Uh, those really are going to be sort of like dancing with the stars as opposed to fights. This is a fight. And this is a fight they both need to win. They're both coming off and out. Neither one of these guys is used to losing. And to get in there and lay it all on the line against another guy that they know is at the top of the division, it's what boxing is supposed to be all about. And, um, and frankly, at, at, at the catch weight, because it's going to be at 143, Regis, we, we, we would have fought it at 140 for an elimination, but it's going to be at 143, that's fine. The, the attitude on this side of the table was, what I was told, go make it at the weight you have to make it at, because we're going to win the fight. Do you think these guys now having won world championships just want to have those big fights? Possibility, of course, for the winner of this fight to even move to 47 as well. I mean, Mikey Garcia, Devin Haney, 140, whatever, but do you think now, with everything they've achieved, it's just about the biggest fights out there? Everyone knows titles still matter. He wants belts, he wants belts, titles still matter. But then at the same time, there are 17 motherfuckers walking around in weight classes saying that they're a world champion. And right now, what you've got in this fight is you've got two known commodities, two known names, two big names in boxing that are perceived to be in the top four of their weight class. Because these guys, right, if you want to give the benefit of the doubt to Ramirez and, 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 and Taylor that they have the belts, they're one and two. Well, you got three and four over here. 
and three and four are gonna fight each other, not somebody with a name that I never heard of and can't write or pronounce that never doesn't really deserve the right to be in the ring with the champion. These guys are both champions, they're getting in the ring, and, uh, and it's a huge, huge move for the winner because he's right back on top. But it's a big fucking step back for the loser. So these guys are putting everything on the line, and that's why I got so much respect for the guy over there, because I know Mo Hooker is a terrific fighter, a terrific competitor. I promoted a number of his fights early in his career, he's a good dude too. This guy right here looked like King fucking Kong if you told him where I'm giving the right number. And, and that's what this is all about, man. We're, like, it's giving the fans what they deserve to see. The best fighting the best. And I'd like to take this opportunity for our younger fans watching this stream live on the Zoom to apologize for the, uh, the language from Mr. DeBella there. He's very excited. And Sam, uh, we know that you are Regis's biggest fan, officially. And uh, pleased to land this fight. What you feel? See, when I say that, I say that as a trainer. Because, uh, you gotta, as a good, all great trainer, you gotta be understand the style of fight that you're fighting. And I understand his style to the T. So I know what Maurice can do, and I know what he can do. And I know what Maurice can do better than what he can do. So that's why I say it's gonna be, it's gonna be a tough fight. He's Credo, he's from, from uh, Louisiana. It's tough. His, his bloodline is tough. He's a tough kid. He's only tough for so long, though. It'll be one side after a couple rounds. Yeah, you said you see it, the, the dog in Maurice, you see it different man since he's joined up with the camp, the hunger. He's, does he just dominate this fight? Does he does he stop Regis program on April 17th? I say, like I said, it's gonna be a one-sided fight. We're not never going there looking for the stoppage. We just going there looking for the win. If the stoppage comes, you better believe we're gonna be in shape to stop it. No chance in getting one up on you in this fight on April 17th? I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen. Not, not, I, not that bad. After a hundred times that I was just going to go ahead and do Hey, I, I, tell you, I take my hat off to that team over there. Sam, Lou, Rogue, Regis, uh, you. I take your hat off to them. It's hard to come up to with it, a good, come up to, against a, a good team. You're not only fighting him, you fight the city, his people. My people, Rock Nation, we fight everybody. And we know that. We know we're fighting everybody on that side. But I think we got more dog in us than they do. Thank you, Bowman. Is my dogs over there? <laughs> my dogs over there? It's my dogs over there. Bowman, Luda Bella, Sam, Dino, of course, more importantly, Maurice and Regis. Thank you, thank you for being here today, and thank you for giving us this great fight, April 17, live on the zone. We're going to have a head to head up here. He said, if I, I remember you, he said, if I remember, I remember. You was in the stands, we were remember, remember, remember that? I remember you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe here at Fino Boxing, like this video, and leave your comments down below. And follow us at all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing, and my personal one is at Adriana underscore sports.